Hey guys, Longcouch here. Welcome back to Zelda. Okay guys, I know we're getting a very abrupt start here. We're starting off right with the montage of all the chests that I went back and picked up throughout all the shrines where I had left chests behind before. Uh, you can skip to about 240 if you don't care about this montage, but otherwise I'm just going to kind of walk you through it. The first thing you may notice is that I was feeling a little nostalgic, guys, so I threw on my Hylian uh, clothing set and dyed it green because that's about the closest I can get to a classic costume right now. <laughs> but yeah, um, so the first thing I had to do was I actually teleported back and grabbed the Royal Broadsword from on top of that uh, Woodland Tower, and then I came to... That first shrine there where I had a major test of strength waiting for me, because apparently I left the chest behind in that area before, so I had to kill that thing again, which was hard. It took basically most of my royal broadsword and a uh, decent uh, strength boosting item as well. And as I kept going, I also found some chests outside that I wanted to pick up, so I, I included this stuff as well, just so you guys could see like literally every little thing I picked up. All the amber and rubies and whatnot. It was kind of surprising, though. Oh, check this out, guys. Check this out. Remember how many times I died trying to do this before? First try, motherfuckers. It only took about, like, 80 hours of practice in this game, but now I'm good enough to get that glide on the first shot. <laughs> and we got another Royal Claymore. So, what I discovered is that it seems that most of the time, this game is actually scaling the chest behind the scenes. So, I didn't even know that I was doing it, but it's actually kind of a pro strat to leave a lot of these chests behind and then come back for them later. Because I guarantee you, I wouldn't have been getting royal weapons if I had picked them up the first time around. And I guess that's probably not true for the chests on the outside, like this one. Because they don't often contain weapons. They're usually, like, you know, rupees or minerals of some kind. This one was 50 purple rupees. But, yeah. This was really, really... Really good incentive to never leave a chest behind again, because even though this montage is a little less than three minutes, it was actually about 45 minutes to an hour of actual game time, just because most of it was loading. Just teleporting around, entering and exiting the shrines. Uh, these ones were particularly fun. You may remember the, uh, I don't even remember what they were called, honestly. The, uh, the, the double... What the hell did they refer to them as? But it was basically like the shrines where like you had to use both of them. You had to take a picture and run back and forth. Uh, yeah, it turns out you didn't actually have to solve the shrine to find those hidden chests like I originally thought. All you had to do was glide around the corners like that in a very specific way. But in any case, I figured it out. That's all of the chests. Unless I missed one, I believe that is all of them. So... Now, guys, we are back here in Goron City. Since I did need a little bit of a heal anyway, I figured I might as well come back here and try out this Goron massage that I've been curious about. I am using the Wii U tablet right now, so forgive the background noise. I'm just gonna do this real quick. If you want to throw in a Goron massage, that'll run you 80 rupees. Yes, a bed and a massage. This is gonna be awesome. I know it already. Uh, how long do you want to rest for? What is it? It's 7.30 a.m. Let's just go until noon. Just a quick cat nap. Ah, it's 80 rupees, jeez. Go ahead and lay down on the rock bed. Time to loosen up those tiny muscles. Alright, buddy. Boy! Hey, Vulcan! We got a customer! Yeah. Got you covered, buddy. <laughs> that old dude's gonna give me a, a rock massage. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Oh, that was good stuff. That reminds me of the construction workers. How was the massage? Amazing, right? Take care, brother. Okay, looks like that gave us... Wow, that gave us three extra hearts and an extra stamina wheel. That's pretty good, guys. Pretty good stuff. Okay, well, I don't really have time to dawdle, guys. Tonight, I've got time to record exactly one episode, <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff I want to get done during this session. So, we're going to immediately teleport uh, right here to the Woodland Stable. You know, it's interesting to note that any additional hearts you get added on are consumed first when you're in battle, but the extra stamina wheel is consumed last. So... It's really in your best interest to save it until you really need it. But it, it just fascinates me, the difference in mechanics there. I have to think about that and figure out, like, uh, which is, like, better to utilize. But in any case, since we're here by the stable now, let me go ahead. And, first of all, 
I want to get my green tunic back on. <laughs> it is so weird controlling with this tablet. Can't get over it, guys. No, oh, and I keep hitting the wrong damn button. Okay. Got that, and now... We're going to rescan some amiibos, try and get some good stuff. Uh, we're just going to do the Zelda-specific ones, guys. So, right off the bat, here is Link from Ocarina of Time. Please, please, Lord, give me a good item. I beg of you. Uh, okay, Royal Claymore is a good item. Here's the problem, though. My inventory's full, because I just spent all that time getting all these great weapons. <laughs> uh... Okay, see you later, Hammer. This is probably going to be an ongoing issue, guys. I'm trying to get, like, good, unique items out of these things. And instead, they're just going to give me weapons that I don't have room for. Okay, here's Ganondorf. More barrels and a chest. Luminous Stone. Okay. That's good. That That's a pretty good drop. I'm okay with that. Give me all the Luminous Stones for these amiibos. <laughs> I love how the bomb just blows away the freaking chest like that. Oh, look. Lots of rupees. They all got scattered. One of these days I'm going to have to test the item drops in this game to see if they'll actually disappear if you leave them alone for too long. A lot of games are like that. What's that? Oh. One arrow. Lovely. Okay, next up... Not a bomb. Next up, we've got... 8-Bit Link. I still don't even know what unique items these are supposed to be giving me, honestly, guys. I haven't really looked it up. I just figure I'll know it when I see it, right? Night Shield. Alright. Really? My shield inventory's full? I was not expecting that. I don't remember picking up tons of shields. I guess I have been carrying around these pot lids. Um, I can sacrifice one pot lid if I can hit the right button. Nice. The night shield is pretty good. It's a good thing to have. And now, blow that motherfucker's up. And there goes one of my hearts. I'm always a little too close to the explosive barrels. They just, they've got more range than I figure they're going to have. I don't know what the hell else might have come out of those. Oh, look, arrow bundles. Okay. Oh, what else do we got? What's on fire over here? Oh, burning tree branch. Ooh, look, more rupees over here. Awesome. We're up over a thousand again. Hey, hey, we can go buy that fairy, guys. Okay, next. And this is going to be the big one here. This is why I came to this spot. We've got Smash Brothers Link. Epona! Yeah! That's awesome. And while we're right here, let's just get this one out of the way, too. We're gonna bring in Wolf Link. It'd be awesome if Wolf, if, uh, Wolf Link could come in and ride Epona. <laughs> okay, let's go over here and try and get her registered. And confirm that it is Epona. I'm like 99% sure. I just don't know for a fact yet. Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Target. There we go. Looks like you caught yourself a new steed. Do you want to register it? Yes, please. Gotcha. You sure this is the one? Wow, new horse. Okay, so it's got max bond already and four stars on everything. Does that mean that four is the max? I really don't know, guys. I'll say yes. Not a problem. So do we get to name it? We charge a registration fee to help support our conservation efforts. The fee also gets you a locally made saddle and bride for your horse. Fee's 20 rupees. Okay. Ooh. Thanks. Okay, please enter a name for your horse. We really are going to... This is not a Pona? I don't believe this. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't this a Pona? The horse of legend? It is a Pona. I knew it. They're just... They're fucking with me, guys. They're pulling my leg. <laughs> mm. What are you thinking? You can't rename a horse of legend. Pretty sure there's a law against that. Uh, maybe in Hyrule. I, I guess I'm not familiar with Hyrule law. So, Pona it is? Yeah! 
She is the Lord of all horses and has been my friend through many dangers. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? I would. Oh. All right, we'll take Asteroid into our care. I'm so sorry, Asteroid. You were a good horse for the most part. You know, we worked well together. We fought well together. But this is a Pona, man. This is a Pona, okay? I don't know what else to say. I just, I, I have to use her for the rest of the game. <laughs> There's no need for any other horse. Can we put custom things on her, too? I feel like I can change out her gear, or maybe... Oh, actually, this horse is different from any I've ever seen before. My, she's so lovely and graceful. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure this little lady would absolutely hate it if you changed her mane or gear. Aww. I'm so sorry about that. Not as sorry as you're gonna be. I mean, I get it. I guess they didn't want to take the... the trouble to, like, actually give her different models and things like that because she's technically DLC. But it would be really nice if we could customize her. Asteroid looked like a badass after I customized him, man. But we just can't do that with this, uh, with a pony here. Okay, eh, I also probably should have left Wolf Link alone for now because he isn't going to be able to teleport with us. Although, I'll tell you guys what. Maybe we don't have to teleport. What I want to do, first of all, is go find that shrine that I marked. It should have a blue... There it is. It's actually relatively close to here. Um, I don't think we'll be able to ride there, actually, but we can probably just run straight there. Oh, no, if, if we ride south, we can get there by horseback. Okay, give me one moment here to actually switch back to my Pro Controller, and I'll be right with you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. We're ready. I feel like myself again at home on my Pro Controller. Let's get going. Maybe we can get into a fight along the way, because I really want to see what Wolf Link is capable of. Damn, Epona is fast, though. Oh, man, she's like the perfect horse. This is going to be awesome. Problem is, I think we already cleared out a lot of this area. So there's probably not going to be a ton of enemies around. Who's that? Hey, hey, stop! I want to talk to that Gerudo. Okay. She does control better than Asteroid did, too, but she's still not perfect. I guess there's no horse in this game that's like 100% perfect, you know? Lady, come here. I just want to talk. This is Karsh. Savak. I'm Karsh of the Gerudo. Remember that name. I came to Elden from the Gerudo Desert, far to the southwest. I'm traveling in search of Vo, but I haven't found any good ones so far. Until just now. <laughs> she's thirsty. That's it. Uh, I came from Gerudo Desert, far to the southwest, on a journey to hunt for Vo. Okay. Just a thirsty bitch. That's all we got there. I like all the different language in this game. If you think about it, we've got... What was it? We've got Vo and Vi from the Gerudo, and then we've got Va for all the divine beasts. You know, Va Ruta. Va Vi Vo. That must be some kind of inside joke at Nintendo or something. <laughs> Thim's Bridge. Hey, this looks like another Korok. Did I get this one already? Was this the same bridge? This wasn't the same bridge I did before. This is just like a carbon copy of that same puzzle. Okay, that's fine. I'm ready for this. Wolf Link looks like he's getting ready to fuck somebody up. I think he sees that Octorok down there and he's just like ready to roll. <laughs> Go get him, boy. Go get him, Wolf Link. I don't think he's capable of fighting in the water, though. Alright, this is a tough shot. I can't tell. It's kind of hard to tell, like, if you're lined up properly, because the the rock is kind of blocking the view of your, of your legs. <laughs> Let's try this. Whoops, that was the wrong button. That was totally the wrong button. That one doesn't count. That's a redo. Uh, right about there, I think. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Freaking perfect. I love it. I'm not going to mess with that Octorok, because who cares? So, yeah, guys. There's just, like, a handful of things I want to take care of and mop up. Probably spend this session doing that. And then I think at the beginning of next session is when we will start heading for the Gerudo Desert in earnest. It's probably about time. 
I feel like there's still so much unexplored land, and I'm worried that we're gonna get through, like, all of the main quests really quickly, and then just have, like, a ton of side stuff left to do. But, honestly, that's just, like, the nature of this game. I don't really know if there's a good way around it. Unless I just put off the main quest for, like, the next 20 hours. It's just, it's hard to space it out appropriately, you know? <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to play the way I feel like playing. And that's going to have to be good enough from this point on, I think. Electric keys. Oh, my God. Ow, that motherfucker shocked me out of the sky. Hey, shock my horse, too. Fuck you. You leave my horse alone. My weapons are slowly, slowly loading in. Okay. Fucking aggressive keys, man. You okay, Pona? You're fine, right? Wolf Link, where were you? I was hoping you'd come in with the assist on that. He was off, like, licking his balls for that whole encounter. I don't know what he was doing. Here you go, girl. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. There's some ice keys here, too. I don't think I have a ton of ice key swings. That would probably be a good thing to pick up. Oh, because there's an ice wizard down there, too. What's down there? What is that area? No. I actually want to draw aggro on this guy. Come here. Come on, I want your ice wing loot. Ah, uh, there's a couple of them. There we go. Actually, have I scanned these guys before? I'm not even sure. I haven't. Uh, did that count? Nope. There we go, that one does. Get him, boy! Get him! Wolf Link, I think you missed. I think you're missing aggressively. Okay. Wolf Link, do, do I have to train him or something? <laughs> Alright, this isn't working. <laughs> I gave him a chance, man. I, I gave him every every opportunity to take care of that for me. He just he wasn't having it. How about you fight those guys? They're nice and simple. Just train up on them, okay? He's hitting them. He's just not doing damage. There he goes. I was gonna say, these are like the weakest guys in the game. You have to be able to at least, like, knock them apart. He's not getting the kill, though. Ow! Fucker! I'm not your opponent. Fight Wolf Link. There he goes, his first kill. We've got a confirmed kill, guys. This is actually dangerous, just trying to let this happen. <laughs> okay, Wolf Link, I gotta be honest, bro, I'm not impressed. And we got a Blood Moon coming. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I know that you can increase his health if you play to a certain point in Twilight Princess. What I don't know is whether he gets, like, stronger from that. I didn't think so. And also, I'm, like, right at my marker and I don't see a shrine here. Come on. It's weird. Like, they give you the prompt to skip that right away, but they don't actually let you skip it until, like, a couple seconds later. Okay, so, should be right around this area somewhere. There it is. It was hidden. Namika Oz Shrine. Namika. I honestly don't remember how many spirit orbs I have right now. I'd like to get one more stamina before we head for the next main quest. I only have one, which means after this we're going to need to do two more. Damn it. I never have as many as I think I do. Modest test of strength. Eh, that's not a problem. I ain't scared at all. Bring your modest test of strength. I'm not even gonna bother to change my clothes unless I start really getting my ass kicked. That shit. 
Yeah, this dude is still pretty strong, honestly. What the hell kind of attack was that? <laughs> he's not even, like, hitting me, so I can't get a flurry attack. Like, he's not even, like, aiming at me. I haven't really figured out how that works yet either. Like, like the bigger your stamina wheel is, the longer you can charge it. But does that translate to a longer attack, like with more thrusts? Oh, he's gonna hit me. Oh, that was close. The reach on that spear let me uh, not take a hit there. That was kind of cool, actually. Uh, let's use this one. Actually, no. We should use some of these guardian weapons because they're good against guardians. Oh shit. Almost wasn't ready for that. Oh yeah, that's what's up. Oh, he dodged out of the way though. I can nail that. Damn it, every time he dodges, it makes me waste my durability. And it pisses me off. Oh, is he charging? Shit, he is charging. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. The timing's different on this. It's weird. Yep. Yep. <sighs> That's okay. I needed to open up a shield spot anyway. Let's try... Uh, no, I don't really want to waste any of these when I inevitably mess it up. Can I stasis this guy? Oh, that's OP. That's so OP. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll take it, though. I'm not so honorable that I won't cheap out and use that when the situation calls. <laughs> Another ancient core. We're actually getting the hookup with these cores, guys. Guardian Spear Plus with a long throw. Apparently, that's the first one of those we've seen. Okay, well, I don't really want to leave that behind, so... Um... Mm. We did use up some of this Ancient Battle Axe, but that's such a good item. That's so good, guys. I'll tell you what, we should just drop this regular-ass Fire Rod. It's a good thing, I like having it. But I don't like it more than I like having a Guardian Spear. <laughs> I wonder how many more armor sets are left to find in this game, because some of them we find in shrines, but I feel like I haven't found any for a while, other than that electrical set. Damn it. Uh, frost spear. Everything I have is good. I don't want to part with any of this. I'm not leaving it behind, though. I, I just, I can't do that, guys. <laughs> I don't ever want to leave a chest behind in a shrine ever again. Okay, so, this is such a good item, but it's like the only thing... You know what? I'll get rid of this Forest Dweller Spear. I've been holding on to it because it's wooden. And that's useful in a rainstorm. But it's also relatively weak. And, we're, and since we're replacing it with another spear, it just kind of makes sense, you know? My spirit orb. Okay, so that's two. Alright guys, now that that's done, we're going to go back to Akala because I want to see what all I can buy with the sweet stuff I got from my guardian hunt. One thing I don't remember though, can we sell cherry things? Because if not, then I'm not really going to have enough rupees for anything. No, we can't. Damn it. I didn't account for my lack of rupees, guys. But let's see what we can make. What do we need? We need the helm, right? Which takes... Yeah. We've got plenty of materials to make the helm. We just lack the rupees. Let's see. 
ancient bow takes a giant ancient core and other things that we have so we could make that too we actually can make most of this stuff Ooh, ancient blade saw what about the arrows the bundle of arrows they take regular arrows shafts and springs um, I think that's a good idea. Let's get at least one more bundle while we're here. Okay. Since we used up some during the hunt, uh, I guess I just gotta go back to the stable and sell things. I wasn't planning on having to do that, but it seems like it would be a good idea. And we can kill this guy while we're here, too. <laughs> Assuming we don't get lit up by the thunderstorm, which it seems may happen. Oh! Yeah, guys! The airstrike with the Master Sword is the freaking fabled downward strike made famous in Legend of Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. Uh, this lightning storm is going to end up screwing me, though. It's really, really lame. Uh, what else? The bow. The bow is the one I always forget. <laughs> Looks like the Great Eagle bow is not susceptible to it, though, so that's pretty nice. And this dude, like, literally doesn't even know I'm here right now. That's kind of hilarious. Also hilarious that I immediately find myself wishing that I hadn't gotten rid of that wooden spear, because I could have been using it up right now. Uh, we'll, use the, we'll use the Guardian Spear, though. That's fine. What is he even shooting at? He was shooting at something way down there. <laughs> Didn't even give a crap about what I was doing. That's funny. Alright, Beetle. Let's see what we can part with. What do you want this time? Huh? Could that be? An energetic rhino beetle? It's a rare beetle you almost never see. Uh, what are you going to give me for it? A fairy tonic? Sure. Why not? I'm happy you're happy, Beetle. <laughs> I live to serve. Okay, guys. Um, we could sell some food, make some inventory slots. We're almost full up on a lot of this stuff anyway. Toasty Hylian shrooms. Oh, you know what? We should go back and sell all these baked apples. There's a lady who buys them at uh, Rito Village. That would probably be the smart play right now. Because otherwise, there's... I've sold most of the stuff that I'm comfortable parting with already. We don't want to sell the diamond right now. I don't really want to sell a lot of this stuff. We could sell some of this flint. I know that's never really going to be that useful. We don't need 77 of them sitting in our inventory. In fact, we could probably sell up to like... I would say like... Let's sell like 65 of them. That'll leave us with 12. That's got to be plenty. I don't even think I've used 12 flint up to this point in this Let's Play. <laughs> Uh, Amber, I got a hot tip not to sell my Amber if I'm going to the Gerudo region. Opal, I don't know when that becomes useful, so maybe, maybe we'll sell some of these too. How many do I have? 43? Let's sell 20 of them. That's what I'm comfortable with right now. 1,200. Okay, perfect. So now, we can get back up top and buy that Ancient Helm. Okay, Cherry. Time to give me this. This is the last, like, permanent thing, I think, that we need from here. It's expensive, but it's probably going to be worth it. The thing that sucks is that it probably makes that diamond circlet we got negligible. I guess it depends on how they upgrade. I'm, I'm honestly not sure about that. So next we could just focus on getting as many arrows as we can and maybe trying out one of these weapons... Obviously not right now, because I just spent all my rupees, but I am kind of interested in this ancient blade saw. Actually, I'd probably be more interested in the, the short sword, because the, the blade saw probably acts as a two-handed weapon. And you guys know I like the one-handed ones more. Too bad there's no ancient boomerang. That's what would be pimp status right there. Oh, I wish that existed. Okay, so... Let's sort. Sort again. Yeah, the circlet is level one. Ancient Helm is level zero. 
don't know what it takes to upgrade that right now. And these are both to level 2 already. Let's see if we can get the Ancient Helm to level 2 and then check out the uh, set bonus. Alright guys, the good news is I managed to hit a couple bloopies on the way up here and refill some of my rupees. Bad news is there are no fairies respawned back here yet. Which is bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Oh, I'm out of snow. That's one of my favorite movies. If you know what movie that quote is from, then you are a cool person. And we should go to Olive Garden and hang out together. Okay. Let's see what this takes. Get out of here, Katera. Uh, I sorted again. I didn't mean to do that. But that's okay. It's easily fixed. This stuff takes ancient screws and ancient springs for the first level. Easy enough. And then I think the second level was the same stuff. Yes, please stop telling me about set bonuses. That's why I'm here, because I want to see the set bonus. Jesus. And it's actually level two or level one diamond circlet is seven, and so is this. So like they're the same. Weird. Why does this thing exist other than just like like visuals? I guess I I don't know, guys. Mm. Whatever. Let's do this. And I noticed we could uh, upgrade our climbing gear right now, too. I'm not sure if we've been able to do that for a while. Let me go in there and take a look at what it takes. Oh, we could upgrade these. Yeah, we did get some yellow choo-choo jelly, too. Oh, we should probably do that while we're here. Okay, let me do this first. <laughs> I gotta keep an eye out for one of those lightning rods and use that specifically for the purpose of getting that yellow jelly. Because I just need to upgrade this stuff. Why did it get... Oh, because I upgraded it. I always forget that. You upgrade it, it sends it to the end of the menu for some dumb reason. Okay, so now... Mm, this one's level 2. This one's only level 1. We need more Volt Fruit to do this. And then Zap Shrooms and Yellow Zalfos Tails. I don't know where the hell to get that stuff. Looks like I haven't gotten any of it. It must be in the Gerudo region, because it's the only region we haven't really been to. Okay, and then this stuff will take Ice Key Swings... And hot-footed frogs, both of which are in pretty short supply, honestly. But we can do one of them at least. Might as well do it while we're here, I guess. I like that bandana. <laughs> Out of breath, Link. <laughs> That's so good. And that is all she can do. Hiya! Alright, let's see. This better have a damn set bonus associated with it, because if it doesn't, I'm going to cry in the corner. Ancient proficiency. What does that mean? Can I can I view that, please? Can you tell me what that means? I don't think there's a way to actually like view that. Does it say on the armor set itself? Uh, yeah. Okay, well that... That doesn't help me too much. I'm gonna have to, like, Google that. <laughs> and I'll let you guys know what I found out on the next episode. Also, I don't like the way that looks at all. I really like the chest piece and the leg piece, but the helmet? That looks stupid. I I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed in that. I think the circlet looks a lot better. You know what? That's a good question. Uh, I was going to say, if the circlet was level 2, we could equip that and see if we get the same set bonus, but it's not level 2, so never mind. Alright, guys. Well, at this point, I do want to knock out one more shrine during this session. The problem I have is I do have some marked. Um, I'm assuming that's what these stars are. I'm assuming that's why I put them there. We're just going to have to go track one down. Where's, like, the closest one? Probably right here. If we fast travel to Varuta, it looks like we could glide over to a, a new shrine relatively easily. So let's give that a shot. Ah, the Zora area. My old stomping grounds. 
Um, let's see. Let's delete that and then just plop a stamp right there. Well, a pin. You guys know what I mean. And I don't really want to wear this stuff. Like, I'll wear it when we fight a guardian or something because, you know, it'll be useful. Maybe I'll be able to divine what that set bonus means. The divine beast. Uh, okay. Really, I can't even walk, like, within. 20 feet of it. I ain't trying to start some shit. I'm just trying to get where I'm going. <laughs> now you must face a 10 second load screen for your transgression. And they put me on the other side of where I'm trying to go. Fantastic. Gotta be real careful here, guys. We get too close. And it's gonna re-instance us again. I also gotta be careful not to waste this extra stamina wheel the way I wasted all those extra hearts. <laughs> If you're not paying attention, you could waste it just by running, which would be a tragedy. A tragedy, I say. Where's this pin? Oh, come on! I'm not even that close to it. Go fuck yourself. I don't understand why they made it this way. Like, what's what's the big deal with the Divine Beast that, like, you can't go anywhere near them? I know, like, they're stationary now. They're shooting the giant beam of light at Ganon. But, like, could they not do that while you're just, you know, standing by them? Even while you're, like, back inside them looking for the chest that you missed? Like, why would that have been so hard to do? I don't get the logic there. I really don't. I just want to try and figure out the altitude of my pin. I don't know exactly where it is. This might be more of a pain in the ass than I originally thought. <laughs> I thought this was going to be simple. Oh, it's right down there. Okay. That's why I couldn't see it, I guess. Very good. I was really scared it was going to be up on that mountain. But you guys know how my sense of scale is always so jacked up in this game. What kind of Lizalfos are they? Just regular ones, I suppose. I gotta start looking for them yellow tails. You know, I guess I did see one... I've seen like one or two of those, but they're, like, they're always hanging out in the water. And, uh, they're hard to loot. Frickin' wrecked. Uh, you know something? I should probably use up something besides the Master Sword. I've been carrying this giant boomerang frickin' forever. Wow. What happened? Okay, I kind of froze there because I was waiting for my boomerang to come back. And it landed all the way over here somehow. Oh, the tongue. They always get me with the tongue, guys. Fuck you. Oh my god! Wow, that was... I can't even be mad. That was freaking awesome. That dude just played me, man. That was some Matrix shit right there. That was like some Dragon Ball Z shit. <laughs> jerk. Speaking of Dragon Ball Z, guys, so as I'm recording this, we're in like full E3 mode right now. Lots of cool stuff being revealed. Have you guys seen the footage of that new Dragon Ball Z fighting game? I think it's literally called like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Looks really good. I'm a big DBZ guy, you know? I, I grew up with that shit. I still appreciate it. And uh, apparently it uses the Guilty Gear engine, so I've never played Guilty Gear myself, but apparently it's a really good fighting game. People are saying that, you know, it's it's a great engine, and I, I've watched a little bit of gameplay from Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and I think it looks really good. Um, I'm not a big fighting game guy. There are some I can get into. That is one I might get into, just because, again, it's Dragon Ball Z, and like a really good Dragon Ball Z fighting game is something I've wanted since I was a little kid, so we'll see. Okay, where are we? Five Flames, Ruko Mog Shrine. I'm hoping this will be like a quick and easy one, because I really am running out of time here. Ah, uh, never enough time, guys. Never enough time. So, Five Flames. Okay, this is the exit right here. We've got a block with a bunch of switches on it, and then a big block with a flame. And we've got chests on 
platforms over there. Looks like some fire arrows will get us those chests relatively easily. Um, I'm guessing... It says five flames, so we gotta light up five torches, right? One, two, three, four. The one on top is already lit. And then there's one... I guess the one on the left pillar there needs to be lit as well. But the water shooting from that one right there is going to make everything difficult. So, we have to light all these. I really wish there was a way to do this without killing your durability. It might seem stupid, guys. It, it just bugs me on a fundamental level. <laughs> like, I love all my weapons. I don't want to waste them on dumb shit like this. I just want to be able... I, I guess we could use arrows, but then we're using up our bow durability. Whatever. So if we shoot it, looks like it rotates almost exactly equivalent with how we move the block. Except, I don't always know which switch moves it which way. Oh, there's arrows on it. Oh, that's helpful. That's very helpful. So we can only move it in certain ways. Right now, we should move it to the left. That, okay. Yeah, the arrows change direction, so that's actually not all that helpful either. <laughs> this probably makes perfect sense to uh, somebody smarter than me. Okay, so now the water's on top. I want to get it to move, like, to the left or right. So if I shoot that one... There we go. Alright, so let's spin it around again. And again. Okay, so now we've got... One, two, three of them lit. Okay, we need to spin it back the other way. Which I don't know if we can do without having to twist it the whole way around. Let's shoot it that way. I think that was a mistake. Let's shoot it that way again. That way the water will be on the bottom, right? We need to actually let's do that one more time. And then spin it that way. Oh, I doused the one on the left. Damn it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try to be slick. Check this out. Yeah. I lit two torches. Nope, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would light the torches. I was incorrect. But let's check out the chest anyway. Opal. Wonderful. Yeah, I've made a royal mess of this. I don't think I have any flames left on these, so... I may actually have to exit this one and come back in. Just to reset it. Oh, finally, guys. I'm demoralized. That took me way too freaking long. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Just didn't have the brain power right now. But finally, it's done. Okay, let's see if I can't do this in one shot. I think we just need to set the platform on fire. It's going to be kind of a tricky shot, though, honestly. Maybe, like, right about there? Please? No. Do we have to get the arrows to lay on top of the platform? There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I had to chew through most of this Lionel bow right here. The the old one we got a long, long time ago. 
And uh, the knight's bow that I had before is totally gone too. Damn it! I didn't mean to. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. <laughs> I was just hoping this would be a quick and easy shrine, and it did not turn out to be the case. Okay. Okay, though. We got a silver bow, 10 times 3. A bow favored by the Zor for fishing. It doesn't boast the highest firepower, but the special metals crafted from prioritizes their. And it has quick shots. So I'm guessing that just means it draws faster. I didn't know that a silver bow could have a times 3 like that. That's pretty cool, though. So, at least they gave us one back, guys. They did give us one back. That's very, very kind of them. Okay, I'm gonna grab this spirit orb and get out of here, guys. When we come back, we're gonna need to do one more shrine somewhere. And then we will start heading for Garuda Desert. Look forward to it, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm Dude Long Couch. This is Zelda Breath of the Wild. I appreciate all the support, guys. And I'll catch you when we come back. Have a good one.